but you know with hindsight the behavior was there but when you know nothing about this drug what to look for what it does you it's naivety I guess you just have no idea at what sorts of behaviors it creates and so yeah with hindsight very obvious but to be fair I did know that he had a previous drug problem and coming from a family where the brother was a drug addict I'd never sort of I was never the type to sort of go oh drug addict you know and I did get to a point where when you're telling your close friends and whatnot you sort of think oh I don't want to burden them with this because they're just they you know you think they're going oh for god's sakes do this or they get really angry about why are you still putting up with it and it's like to a certain extent yeah I'm putting putting up with it but how what else do I do I think part of me sort of felt like <laughs> you know that it was my calling I don't know there's part of me that feels like that because of what I went through with my brother or what my family was going through it's the attraction of I'm broken, you're broken, so we'll be broken together kind of thing. Well, you don't think that, but that's what sort of happens. Addiction's not your problem, it's their problem. You can't control them, you can't make them stop. And so I think that was, you know, getting a grasp of all those concepts was, was definitely um, instrumental to coming out the other side. Well, not completely out the other side, I guess, but, you know, like staying with it. Really what I was trying to do was decide what to do and then it was just a matter of building up courage from everything I'd learnt, read, got help for it, and then sort of push came to shove and I had to do it and it was a messy situation, police, the works, everything. So, and that was huge. And each day he'd sort of go through the sort of denial phase like, wait, when are you coming home? And I'm like, I'm not. And he would go crazy and then say, I'm killing myself again. It, it, this was sort of the cycle that went on for days. By, and each time I'd be like, go to rehab, go and get some help, go and get some help. Police were called and he was trespassed. So that was, because it was just the last straw for me, I was like, and it was all my fault, you know. I thought you'd help me through this. You know, all you need to do is help me through this. Um, you know it's not me yelling at you, it's, it's, it's the devil drug. Just so I hope he can get help. But it's so hard knowing whether he is really trying and not getting it or whether it's just crying to me because he wants the attention from me. I don't know. But he knows, you know, it's not begging for me back. It's never begging for me back. I mean, there's a little bit of that in there, but mostly it's just, I'm so lonely, I don't know what to do with myself.